Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. It's uh, Friday, March the 12th, about 6 o'clock, and I'm sitting here at the house, uh, waiting, looking anxiously down the driveway, uh, waiting for a special delivery. Well, let's unload and look at it, Rick. All right. Man, <laughs> y'all got the truck loaded down, don't you? Yeah, we're delivering two other hives also. Okay. Yeah. So just start out for the hobby? Kind of started off in a hobby and you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I told Randy he got me into beekeeping. He said, first thing he said to me is, sorry. <laughs> Today's the day I get to drop this beauty off to my dad, Ricky and Ruth Rourke at Ambie's Honey Farm built it. And my dad's getting it today. He don't know it, but uh, special gift just for him. Ambie's Honey Farm. I'll put their information below in case you want to order one. Beautiful work of craftsmanship, art, and a home for your honeybees. What you doing? Got something for you in the truck? What? In the back. HorizontalBees.com. Wow, I didn't From, order uh, a hive. <laughs> Ricky and Ruth Rort built it for you. you want something you can work, something you can manage. Dear Lord, how beautiful that is. Where do you want me to set it up in? <laughs> I don't know. Ricky and Ruth, thank y'all very much. Very nice. I hate to unload it. I've been riding around with it in the back of my truck for three days and getting all kind of <laughs> compliments about it. <laughs> uh, well, you ready to set it up? You all right? Yeah, why people do that? They just wanted to do something nice. He was pretty touched by that. He's he's tearing up pretty bad. <laughs> so if I clown on him, it ain't being mean. It's just getting his mind off of it, getting his mind on something else. I'll just keep the composure, something like that. All right, Meryl Streep. <laughs> and the Oscar goes too. <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> There's the front. I tell you, if you want something beautiful in your garden. Oh, okay. Got his name on the side over here. Good. Horizontalbees.com. If you want something beautiful in your garden, there it is right there. Did you bring this back with you? No, he brought it down on a trip to Texas. He had to deliver another one to Texas. Oh my Lord. He stopped and dropped it off at Tommy's while I was going to California. Mm. Well, folks, I don't know y'all. And it's hard to even speak right now, but thank you from my heart. Yeah. Unlatch both of those. Hold on to that. Oh. Unlatch mm -hmm. two on this side. There's the inner cover. 
and let these fronts on the sun. Oops. Now it sits on that uh, oh, okay. front it. entrance. If it's a Langstroth deep frame, uh -huh. and there's the covers that go over the frames. And then there's you got two follower boards. One's got a queen excluder on it. Uh -huh. Perfect fit. This is a actual follower board. The other one's just a, a queen excluder, really. And he's sitting a little crooked. And then he's working in like tight. <laughs> so anyway, it uh, runs horizontal, of course, and then you can put uh, honey super up here. Or some hog yeah. half, build you some comb honey on the top of it. Mm -hmm. And these pins, these this these hinges are pinned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pull my fingers, I can't hardly feel anything. Mm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So Pins like that, these spring loaded hinge pins. It opens the whole thing up and and you work it. I'm gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna be that hard. There's your queen excluder right there. Uh huh. I'm be able to put two hides in there. <laughs> Yeah, I th you could if you uh, stick the follower board in the center right here, you could run two hives in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make another queenish blue thing. Well, you could just run a, you could run a, a piece of screen on both sides. A queen on that. this end, a queen on this end, and let both colonies work one entrance and work the honey super. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll do it. Yep. Build it out. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, folks. God bless y'all. It's pretty. It's amazing. It's going to get a lot of exposure every time somebody comes to pick up queens or nukes. You'll be over here showing it to them. Absolutely. <laughs> you can believe that. This thing to wire there. Yeah. Wow. We've got to get some bees in this thing today. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, Rooster Nation? Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Out here with the old man today. What you working on today? Get supers on the pile. Look get at get them. Supers on me look at them heavy wax foundations, yo. That's the kind of <laughs> that's what you want. The bees will take that and draw it out so fast to make your head spin. Hope my head don't spin. It's bad enough to begin with. <laughs> I was going to video you uh, populating your long hive, but you got ahead of me on it. I got that yesterday. <laughs> and it was full, cool too. You was in this yesterday, you see? Let's open this up and see what he's got in here. These little sugar ants trying to get on this comb here. They won't hurt the hive. Those bees will keep them out of the hive. Did you have a couple deeps you split up and put in here, or, or just one? Yeah, I had a nuke over here that had five frames in it, and I just split those up. This was a nuke? It was. It was an empty nuke. Where'd the cut comb come from? They had built it up inside there because they didn't have enough frames. Oh, I see. Strip it down and put it back in there. I don't think they're stripping it. I think they're working it. Well, they might be. Put three of these in there. In that nuke. 
This was a single nuke. How long ago? Just it was sitting over on the trailer. It never had bees in it. Do what? It didn't have bees in it. it was just a, a nuke with five frames in it. No, no, no. Where'd the bees come from? Oh, out of another nuke that I had over there. Just put them in there about three weeks ago. Okay, that's what I was getting at. So they've been in here three weeks now. Check out that artwork. Snazzy. Love it. This is a really cool setup. I, I hadn't shown this on my channel yet. Put this other inner cover where it belongs. Pollen. This is what this long hive looks like opened up. I'm gonna take this center box off and show you how that works. These, these hinges unpin like that and you put another 10 frame deep up inside there, which is what we're fixing to do. But you said you had some hog half. Dude, it's not here, I've got it at the building. All right. For the time being, I'm going to take this box of medium drawn combs and put it in there just to show you how it all fits together. The top box will fit in between these inner covers just like this. And then this one goes on over it. This is how these hinges lock. Yeah, uh huh. The box is sitting there just like that. It's made for running a deep. I got this medium with this drawn comb, hoping that'll keep him from building in the lid for the time being until he can get his hog hats ready to go in here. I'm gonna take this out of the box, just making sure I ain't got a queen in here before. Leave it outside the hive. If you're going to leave a food source like this outside the hive, you don't want to do that during a dearth or when you don't have a flow going on even. Doesn't have to necessarily be a full on dearth. You can promote a robbing situation in your whole apiary just by leaving a food source on top of a single hive. Looks like you're having a hard time getting bees to survive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All these boxes are just jam packed. We're adding a, another medium to this one. It's full to the top. <clears throat> and these old frames that are dried out. Uh -huh. I just want to spray them with some sugar water. Just uh, dry it out. Encourage the bees to work it more. What we're doing here is we want our nukes and our younger bees to feel at home, so we put wallpaper on the inside of the boxes, <laughs> kind of pretty them up, make them look like a nursery. Little flowers and stuff on them. <laughs> Who wallpapered the end inside of a box? That one needs them somewhere. <laughs> Did you go ahead. They said these need wallpaper or something. <laughs> Uh, 
I got this queen excluder right here. Before I go through this box, I'm just smoking bees out. I'll either run them up or down. And I'm just watching to see if, see if the queen runs out. She can't run down. She's either gonna go up or she's in the bottom box. I think she's in the bottom box. What I'll do if I find the queen this way is I just grab her and put her on the entrance and let her walk back in and she'll be right back on the brood. I'm pouring out pretty fast, so I ain't seen her yet. I don't think she's in here. I, I mean, I don't think she's up top. I'm, I'm sure she's in the bottom. This one, I think I have a queen in both boxes. Well, there's an excluder in there, so they can keep on working. Yeah. I wrote on the lid when I put them in there. I'm not sure if it was or not. Bottom box, a queen laying. Top box, queen clipped and marked blue. So I think there's one in both boxes. Maybe. I've seen crazier things. <laughs> And I did this one, it was late in the afternoon, it was getting ready to pour rain. What do you think of that long box over there? I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. If I just finish figuring out how it works, so I don't mess it up. Well, we just showed you today. Yeah. How to put a super in the top. <laughs> yeah. Learning every day. Yeah, I was supposed to be over here helping him when he started on that one, and I didn't know he was uh, populating it, but he got ahead of me. <laughs> He didn't, you didn't know either. All right, I'm working this box with this turd of a smoker. I don't know where where you found this thing, but do you keep your keys on it? I hope you're not gonna try to like that. <laughs> Listen to it. Oh yeah, listen to the quality of the smoker. It's beautiful. You know, it, it if you ain't got nothing else, I take it. But uh, if you got anything else, <laughs> no queen outside the box. I'm confident she's below. We're gonna put the lid back on it and let them run. I ain't even gonna pull some frames, which is what I was anticipate doing. I was gonna pull some frames and check it. Uh, not going to. Tight doves. They say one size fits all, one size don't fit all. <laughs> Glove works 2X. Bigger than anything you can find locally. Mm. I ordered them off Amazon. You got some nine mil, is that seven? These are five mil. What's in there? I know it's got combs. We're going to go in the long hive again today. It's been a couple weeks since we looked at it. I've got a medium in the top box here. I think you could probably run a queen excluder under here if you didn't want anything in this top box. I'm pretty sure. They're starting to propolize this vent right here. They know what they like. It's got plenty of ventilation though. Both sides are vented as well. The center, they're starting to close it up a little bit. And they'll open it back up again at some point. Close it, open it, close it, open it. They need a sliding door on there. I disturbed a beetle corral. I didn't even think about the video. They were hiding under the screen right here. Trying to work on controlling the ants. They're winning. Really, these little ants have almost zero effect on the hive. You just 
aggravating. They're just annoying to him. <laughs> I don't ever treat them on my yard, but what he's using is permethrin. Uh, I don't know what the mix is on that, but Very mild. I could probably figure it out. Just gotta be real careful where you spray. It is an insecticide, so he's just squirting the bottoms of the stands. If you're really careful with it though, it won't affect your bees at all. They don't hang out on the bottom of the stands as you can see. They just sprays on the ground around under the hive. They, they're not gonna be down there hanging out. Even fire ants in our area won't bother a hive. I've heard from other people west of us that fire ants will decimate a colony, but I've never seen it happen here. I even, uh, Early on, people used to tell me if you had hive beetle larvae on a frame, you could lay it on a fire ant pile and it'd take care of it. Well, I've done it and videoed it, and it ain't true. <laughs> so, I, a matter of fact, I, if I can find the video, I'll pull it up and show it. I got slow motion video of hive beetle larvae just crawling down in a fire ant pile to go to ground, and the ants just walking around them. These are the gloves we've been trying to use. Seven mil from Sherwin Williams. You hardly ever get stung through them, but extra large is the biggest they've got, and that barely I can barely get on my on my hands. So Pete uses those. I got me some two X five mil. I'm fixing to see how they are with the bees. Hey, Gotta be propolized down. Just... That and paint stuck. Oh, you're gonna these two ditches, or already in those? It's propolized. That's all right, I got a fix for that. Called a hive tool and a wiggle wiggle. Ooh, that stirred them up. I'm gonna hold it for a second. <laughs> Get your smoker. It's starting to tag my hand. They're not getting me. They're landing on the glove, but they ain't getting me. I'm coming off with the lid. You want you to put your hood on? Yeah. Why don't you put your hood on? This is supposed to have a deep in it. I was in a hurry when I put it together and I put a medium on it. You can see the propolis line where they stuck it all together. Probably wouldn't have done that if it had been deep in there. They would have covered up that vent. They would probably wouldn't have felt the need to close it off. Although they may have, but still, it came off easy enough. It's hot out here and the propolis is kind of like Play-Doh in the heat. I thought the flow was over. We done stacked up another. <laughs> ready to pull for extraction yeah. it looks yeah. like yeah we hadn't done anything in this yard yet i know but we didn't put the, we put this super on kind of late yeah i didn't think we would get any or much honey out of it mm. of course we don't have an excluder beneath it so it may be a lot of brood in there too yeah i don't think it would be those pulled out too pretty Straight honey. Straight honey. You want to take it out and take it with you, or you want to leave it on yeah, for a little bit? No, we can, we can get it empty, but the ones under is going to be full too. You got your uh, uh, yeah, board? Yeah, no, I've got the. Spray it right there on the back of my truck. You don't got a fume board with that. I'm trying to think where they are. I got one in my house, yeah. but we can run them out of here with a smoker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is all honey. Uh -huh. Found this fume board. I'm going to show you all real quick how this works. All the fume board is is a top, co top cover with a really thin top cover so he can come through it. A felt liner. And this is be quick. Spritz some be quick in there. This doesn't fit all the way over the box like a telescoping cover. It fits up on top edge of the box. But that be quick 
and we don't have any sun on this right now, but it's pretty hot out here. The fumes will run the bees down out of this. We'll give them a few minutes. We'll pull that off and I'll show you how many bees are left up in the, up in the honey super. Let's see what they look like after, it's probably been four minutes. I see two bees, three bees, five bees in the whole box. That was after about, that was after about four minutes with the fume board. And just, just a real lightweight metal over some felt and a frame to sit flush on top of the box. You try doing that same work with a smoker and it takes a little time. You can do it with a blower. Some people do use a leaf blower, but it's still not going to get all the bees out. going to town on this propolis. Mm -hmm. These things are full. Yeah. Well, there's a queen excluder on here. They can work this yeah. side. Let's just put some more frames in it. Okay. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess the elderberry must have been pretty good this year because after the tallow quit, it was the elderberry was still going pretty good. Yeah, just now losing their bloom. The tallow quit and I thought I was out of a flow and hmm. my bees kept putting it on and wouldn't weren't really attacking my truck when I come home from a cutout. <laughs> This excluder on the middle. Right. Well, let's take this other one out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> we were down to the end of it. We were on 12 frames. I thought we had a whole bottom full. They're looking strong, though. Of honey to pull there yet. There's some of those little ants, those little tiny ants. Nothing to worry about, they don't affect the hive at all. Good, strong hive, they have zero effect on them. I'll say zero. The bees might argue that point a little bit, yeah. but I'll say zero. <laughs> Give them 10% anyway. Yeah. Throw that stuff right back on them. Let them clean it up. Baby. Mm -hmm. Baiting the ground for pest. <laughs> That's some gummy propolis. Yes, it is. Probably ought to pull it up tight like that every time, so yeah. less less for them to want to propolize. Yeah, and keep it from warping too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small hive beetle used to be. There was no stings on the five mil, and I did stir them up pretty good right there in the I beginning. Any sting at all on these? Those are seven mil, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so seven mil, you're probably hardly ever going to get a sting. I don't think I've been stung through those seven mils yet. Five mil, just now starting on trying them out. And probably going to be the same situation. They just don't like to... This, these are nitrile gloves. I don't know. I don't think they like to the feel them. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it uh, makes a difference if they're nitrile or latex. Probably not, but I don't think they like the feel of this. They land on it kind of 
act aggressive, but don't sting it. Here's a good idea for transporting your honey supers if you got any bees left in them. Keep bees out and get the bees out of them that may be in them. Solid bottom and then a bee escape on top. You see how that's built? They can easily find their way out and they have a tough time finding their way back in. Darn near impossible for them to find their way in. Put all that air on me. Turn on high. All right, I took the hand off of the honey high, the honey box because he can't lift it. So I'm gonna take it and put it in his freezer for him. Um, he wanted to leave it in his truck, but he's got a o overnight. But he's got a sugar ant problem in his house and black ants. And them, them little black ants will get in there and and try to eat a little something, they don't really do nothing. They'll, they'll get on brood though, they'll get on, if you got a real, real weak colony, or if you take a brood frame and put it in something to anchor some bees or something, and the bees don't get right on the brood and you got a lot of those black ants in it, they'll, they'll run the bees off of that brood to have it. I, I've never seen them uh, ever affect a strong colony though. And the sugar ants are, like the sugar ants don't even fool the beehives. They're not even around them, it doesn't seem. But if you leave a box of honey out, they'll tear it up. So I have this in the freezer for him when he's ready to extract it. He can uh, unplug his freezer or pull it out and let it warm up because you can't extract frozen honey. It's not my opinion, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried it, but it's a fact. Trust me. Next thing you know, he said, "What do you think about getting these?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Like we don't have enough uh, animals in the farm." <laughs> what all do y'all have? Uh, you yeah. name it: <laughs> sheep, <laughs> sheep, goat, peacocks, pheasants, pigeons. Oh wow! Uh, Blue What's your favorite one? Cats. The cats? cats. Uh, <laughs> bunnies. What's, what's the cat's name? Cheetah and Alan. Nice. Turkeys. Uh, what else we have? Pyramids. We used to have ducks, but something was eating them. Do I have a knife on me? Yeah. Like Daddy used to say, I got my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you did, uh, did you get your uh, brother into beekeeping? Is that I how did. it kind of work? That's what I